First, we'll review the different features you can navigate to from Portal Home. When you first enter the platform, you'll notice the announcement board. Your Kintown admins will post any big updates or reporting you and your whole team need to know. If you were to scroll below announcements, you may see this notification section. This will show you a list of all notifications. If you don't see this, then it may not be set for your domain. No worries though, you can access your notifications by clicking the bell icon on the top. If you click the three horizontal lines, a menu bar will open. This is accessible from apps and spaces as well. You can navigate back to Portal Home, view your spaces, apps, and then also people. This feature is most useful when you're in a space or app and need to quickly navigate somewhere else. Right next to this is the Home button. Here you can navigate back here to Portal Home. Then you have the notification bell icon to access your notifications. The red number represents the amount of notifications you need to review. You can toggle between red and unread. You can also flag important notifications so you can revisit them later. If you select the dropdown, you'll have a few options for the type of notifications you'd like to review. By default, you'll see To Me to view only notifications where you, your group, or department are mentioned in a post, if you're assigned to a task, or if you have certain notifications set in apps as reminders or notices. Select Flagged to view notifications you have flagged, and select All to view all notifications in the portal, not just those that include you. To all notifications brings out the transparency in Kintone. If you're following a discussion thread or there are comments on records you have been a part of, you will see those messages in to all, even though you weren't directly notified. Then you have the star icon. This will display your bookmarks. To add a page to your bookmarks, simply navigate to the page, click the star icon and hit the add icon. Name it and save. This will allow you to save views, graphs, and search results. If you go over to the right, first we have the gear wheel. End users will have access to the following. In your personal settings, this allows you to set your email preferences if it's enabled and the time format. Next, we have app management, and this is a one-stop shop to view the apps and current usage of apps in your portal. For end users, you will only see the apps you have permission to manage. Import files will show you any files you've recently imported and exported files will show you files that you have recently exported. And next we have this little question mark. So if you click Kintone Help, you'll be directed to our Help Center. To the right of that, we have the search bar to search for spaces, threads, apps, people, and keywords. As you type, matches for spaces, threads, and apps will display. When you click search, the left side will display matches to specific keywords in content, and the right side will display any matches for spaces, threads, or apps that have the name of that search result. Above the search bar, if you click the down arrow next to your name, you can log out of your account or visit your account settings. In account settings, you can update your profile details, including changing your photo, change your login credentials, and view your previous logins. Let's navigate back to the portal. If you click on your name, you will be taken to your profile. Now let's start to chat about the people feature. People is a feature used to directly contact or share ideas with other Kintone users. From your own profile, you can post to your wall to update your colleagues on what's happening with you, either personal or work related. You can start to write out a post here. 
If you click the camera icon, you can change your cover photo. And if you select the gear wheel, it will take you back to your account settings. To view someone else's profile, just type their name into the search bar. Click their name to go to their profile, or if you click the little chat icon, you will be taken to your private messages with them. So back to their profile, here you can post to their wall, view contact details, and if you click profile, you will be taken to more details about the user. You can also follow them to be notified when they post anything. And again, if you click this little chat icon here, you'll be taken to your private messages with them. With people, you can interact with the other users of your Kintone platform. Now let's navigate back to Portal Home. Some of you may see this assigned to me box. This means you have apps with process management set up that require your attention. This is the process workflow that can be set up in apps. The little red number lets you know how many items within that app you need to take action on. If you don't see this box, it just means there's nothing for you to review at this time. Right below that is spaces. A space is a workspace where you can add apps and collaborate with team members by viewing common information and discussion threads. Here's where you can access your spaces. If you click here, you can filter out your spaces based on these options. If you have permission to do so, you can also create new spaces by clicking the plus icon. If you don't see this section at all, that means your Kintone admin has disabled the space feature or has removed it from being displayed on Portal Home. Let's jump into the customer success space to review. If a space is comprised of threads and apps, it's almost like a portal off of a portal. You can make a space private or public. It also has its own announcement board. So this is helpful because you can make it more specific with your announcements. So for this customer success space, you may want to include helpful apps and customer graphs. If it was a marketing space, you can display upcoming projects and events. With spaces, you can have multiple threads. A thread allows you to collaborate and communicate with your team on different topics. The apps listed here within a space belong to and were created within that specific space. Below that, the list of people shows who has access to that particular space. And lastly, you can choose related apps or spaces. So these apps and spaces do not belong to the particular space, but by adding them here, you can easily navigate to them from right within the space. Let's go back to Portal Home and review the last section, which is apps. Apps allow you to manage your data and business processes. So here's where you can access your apps. And if you click here, you can choose to see all apps you have access to or just those that you have pinned to your favorites. If you have permission to do so, you can click this icon to create a new app. Let's hop into the customer's app. The features we'll be reviewing here are for those who do not have permission to manage the app's settings. If you see more features, this means you have extra permissions. When you first enter the app, you will see a record list view. This is simply a list of the records. Within this record list, you can see specific fields for each record. Think of it like a record is a row and the fields are the columns. We'll hit plus to add a new record. And the ellipses allows you to choose the amount of records to view on one page and also lets you lock the field widths. Over to the left, first we'll review what a view is. A view is a filtered and sorted list of records. In apps, different views live here in this dropdown. Here we have in all my customers, California customers, and in all records view. To see what the filtering criteria is for a certain view, click the funnel icon. As you can see in the all customers view, there is no criteria for filtering and therefore 
all of the records are showing here. If we go down to the California customers view and click the filter icon, you can see that these are all the records where the state equals California and the stage equals current customer. As an end user, you can filter out records, but you will not have the ability to save them to this dropdown in the app. You can, however, add them to your bookmarks. Right next to that, we have graphs. Click the down arrow to see the different graphs you can view within the app. If you click the bar chart icon, you can view how the graph was created. You can edit the graph and make new ones. However, if you are not an app admin, you will not be able to save your changes or new graphs. Just like with views, you can bookmark them. Let's go back to the record list view. If you click the pin at the top, you'll be adding the app to your favorites. If you have permission to edit or delete, you can do so from this screen. Click X to delete, and then the pencil icon to edit in line. If you go all the way to the left, if there is a number here, that's just how many comments there are for that particular record. And if you click the little blue page icon, you will enter a record and be able to view all of its information. We are now viewing the form of the record. You will see the record is made up of all the forms fields. These fields and the layout were decided by the app admin. Click the over arrow to move between records, the plus to add a new record, the pencil icon to edit, and this next icon will duplicate the record. With the ellipses, you can print this individual record and delete if you have permission to do so. Right below that, you can comment on the record and mention a colleague. This allows you to discuss the contents of the record. If you click the time icon, you can see the history of changes. You can note any changes that have been made and also restore to the previous version if you have permission to do so. This concludes our overview of navigating through Kintone as an end user.